With generative AI, we face a new kind of risk. When we use a large language model, we know we're not actually chatting with a person, but many of them are designed to feel that we are. They're responsive, polite, and even seem eager to help. Those design choices make it easy to behave as if we were not interacting with software, and that's where the hidden harm is creeping. Tech companies have spent decades perfecting products that hook people, apps that nudge you, grab your attention, and pull you back. But with chatbots, the stakes are higher. When a system feels human, particularly when it feels sympathetic, people lean on it more, and they trust it more. They may, for example, accept its answers uncritically, even when the model gets confident by wrong advice. The problem here isn't the often discussed hallucinations. It's how we relate to something that sounds like us and gives us plausible answers. This creates a responsibility for AI design. We should not exploit people's instincts to anthropomorphize, to treat something non-human as if it were human. A system should be made to be useful without posing as a companion, a coach, or a friend. So choices about a system's tone, settings, and safety measures really matter. My work treats all this as a core part of responsible AI, alongside protecting privacy and reducing bias. Because if we build tools that encourage over-reliance or emotional dependence, we're not just creating bad products, we're also amplifying the same vulnerabilities that people use AI chatbots to mitigate.